All right, some of the biggest U.S. banks, as we were saying, will report their latest quarterly earnings this week with Citigroup, the first of the group to report this morning. John Layfield is a Fox News contributor, and he joins us now. Hey, good morning, John. Great to see you. You know, I've been looking at this for days now, talking to traders on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange about what they're expecting. You look at the estimates out there. They are high, high, high. City coming in uh, at EPS estimate would be a 21 percent improvement over uh, the previous year. Year. Mo much the same for most of the stocks out there. What are you seeing and what is this going to tell us about the economy? I think it's very important. Look, uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, last quarter when they came out on a Friday morning, the economy, the market was going to sell off. And J.B. Diamond had very bullish comments for the economy going forward. I think the comments about what's going to happen in this next year, because there's so much uncertainty coming out of the CEOs from Citigroup with Mike Corbett to to uh, J.P. Morgan with Jamie Dimon, I think are very important. I think earnings are going to be good. These stocks have been terrible uh, the last year, despite the fact yeah. that they're very good companies. The consumer has been doing quite well, and consumer is 70% of GDP, as we all know, but these stocks have been quite terrible. I think you're going to see good earnings, all right. but I, don't, I would not be a buyer of these stocks here because of all the uncertainty that's coming in 2019. Well, you know, I was watching very closely the financial sector Friday, and they had a very good Friday coming ahead of these earnings. So that's interesting. I, I think the major expectations is that trading revenues will be higher because we've had these volatile markets. But the big question is loan growth. And that's really what's going to tell us about the economy. What are you expecting when it comes to loan growth? Will it be personal loans that will grow? Will it be corporate? What do you see? I think it's going to be personal loans that will grow. What worries you the most is about corporate loans slowing. Look, we've seen a slowdown in CapEx, which we saw initially when the Trump administration first got in because of the optimism of a perceived pro-business administration. But now you're starting to see CapEx slow down significantly. So it's looking at those corporate loans. That, to me, is one of the biggest harbingers mm -hmm. of how much uncertainty is there out there because of this trade war. The government shutdown is not necessarily going to have a negative effect on the economy long term, but it adds to the uncertainty coming out of the White House. You know, I, Goldman Sachs is going to have a really horrible quarter. That's what analysts are uh, forecasting, that their earnings will be down 35 percent later this week. Meanwhile, the broader markets, it looks like, will report earnings that are a little more sluggish than we originally expected. Barron's reporting this weekend that those estimates for the S&P 500 have come down 3.8 percent over the past week. What is our bank earnings going to look like in, in context with the broader market? I think it's going to be exactly what a representative of the broader market. We're not falling off a cliff. Uh, we're going from pr probably 3% GDP to 2-something percent GDP, which is still pretty good. We're still growing. Corporate earnings are going to go from around 22%. The projection is around 7.8% for this next quarter. That's still good, coming off a 20% gain of last year. It is slowing, but we're not falling off a cliff. It's, we still have full employment right now. Wages are higher. I think we're going to be okay as far as the economy. The, the, this whole thing to me is all about the uncertainty that's being created. It's all self-sabotage because of this trade war. Well, you know, 7% any other year, we might think that's terrific. But this year, you know, Absolutely. It, we've just baked in these high expectations. John, thanks for coming on today. Great to see you. Thanks, Jerry. Good to see you.